Hello everyone. In this video I intend to show you how to set up the dashboard and trending measures. First of all, when you first log into the client, the default page is the Support Works Today page, but you also have among the menu items the dashboard and trending menu. And if you come here, you'll be able to see different charts based on what you've specified. For example here, I have requests logged in the last 12 months. That's the only chart I've specified. So it's the only one showing right now. This other one, requests logged in the last 7 days, is also specified, but there's no data to show at the moment. I'm sure you're just wondering, how was this information set up in the first place? Well, to begin with, I'll, I'll give you a bit of background about the dashboard and trends in measures. The dashboard and trending measures behavior is stored in a few tables that are uh, kept in the SystemDB database. To get there, you need to go to C, Program Files, Hornbill, Core Services, SWSQL Server, Data, SWSystemDB, and you'll be able to see the H, uh, S, S, H dashboard underscore uh, tables. Uh, in this case, I've got boards, board widgets, groups, measures, sample, samples, and thresholds and widgets. And some of those uh, tables, if I do, for example, I'd have to start with use SW system DB on my system. And then if I say select star from H dashboard, uh, from H dashboard boards, I'll be able to see that I have incident, problems, service desk, and change management boards specified. Another table I can look at is H dashboard measures, and I'll be able to see the different measures that uh, have been created in the system. These measures are actually specified when I go to manage measures. I should see a list any minute. There you go, you have the percent of calls resolved per day. These were derived from this table, which is H dashboard measures. Similarly, the design widgets were also stored in a table. And this is something I, I have to create myself. I'll show you in a minute how you can do that. One of the things I have to do before I start is make sure I've got access, cache database rights to actually make changes. So I'll go to administration and manage security profiles, cache uh, database rights, edit, and I'll scroll down to the cache and I'll expand that. And yes, indeed, I do have all green ticks in all the H dashboard tables, so that's good. Some people end up with X's and they're unable to make me uh, make changes to the measures in the system. So you have to make sure you have rights to all these tables. An easy way of creating a measure is to actually copy an existing one. So if I want, for example, calls logged per day, I can come here and just click on this icon which will make a copy of the same one, calls logged per day copy. And I can rename that to calls logged per day, um, Pam, uh, maybe calls logged per day, Pam, yes. This one will start, the, when I click on the sample data, it should sh show me a preview of the data that's there. And this one specifies, this tab specifies exactly the table name, the primary key, and uh, the log data x value, the save data columns that I need in this measure. It's always best to uh, create a measure on log date x because that's the Unix time rather than log date x because um, some values will be left out. Once that's done, I just save. Yeah, and that should pop up. Now, the first time you set up a measure, it won't have any values in the scorecard. Uh, if you look at calls logged per month, this has values in the scorecard and calls logged per day, it has values in the scorecard as well as a, a normal date like 6 December 2015. The first time you set up a measure, it will have a date like 1st January 1970. So in order to fix that, all you have to do is run that measure so that it collects the actual data that's in the system. The, you run it by clicking on these two arrows. It will ask you for this. Would you like to continue? Just say yes. When it's finished running, it will bring a pop-up saying the name of the measure and the, how many samples it's collected. It looks like it's collected uh, 32 samples, so let's just have a look at that. The scorecard has changed to 5, so this means uh, calls logged per day, it will look at the previous day, it won't look at calls logged today, it will look at calls logged yesterday or any other day before. So the last day before today was yesterday, which is 
five here. It's not talking about any calls log today. And the date has changed to 29th September 2016. Today's date is 30th of September, so you know it's only going up to yesterday. So once that bit is done, I have to come to Design Widgets and come to, if I look at, for example, requests logged in the last seven days, if I edit the widget properties, I'll see that it's, 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 it's going to display the results on Service Desk General and it's going to be used in all data dictionaries. This is the request logged in the last seven days. If I click on Data Provider, it will show me it will show me the name of the measure. So currently it's pointing to calls logged per day, but if I want to change it to calls logged per day PAM, I just click on the drop down and select calls logged per day PAM, which is the one I ran a few minutes ago, and I click on save. Yeah, it will show me that. And I just close this. There's one more thing I need to do. In order to make sure that I get the right data in, I have to clear this custom data provider. If there's anything in there, just clear it and make sure that uh, your only data source is the measure calls logged per day PAM. So at this point, when I click on the preview tab, I'll be able to see uh, how many calls were logged in the last. I'll be able to see how many calls were lo logged yesterday, Thursday, 29th September. Only five calls were logged. So at this stage, when I click on um, when I click on this. I've specified that the category should be Service Desk General. That means uh, when I click on Service Desk Performance, I'll be able to see this this chart included. There, where initially there was nothing here, uh, after changing my measure and uh, asking it um, to be displayed on the Service Desk Performance uh, screen, I'm able to see it now. So this is how you can set up your charts to display on the Service Desk Performance screen. Thanks.